Cam Johnson has re-signed with the Nets. Four years, $108 million. Traded over from Phoenix, now part of the Nets, and has agreed to be part of what Brooklyn is going to do going forward. And this has been a franchise. They're trying stuff in Brooklyn. They don't stand pat. They'll mix it up. They'll do what they got to do. But they re-signed Cam Johnson. Four years, $100 million seems to be the magic number today in this first day of free agency. Draymond Green, four years for 100. Kyle Kuzma, four years slightly over 100. You know, right around here, four years, 108 for Cam Johnson. Um, what do you think of this move for the Nets and for Cam Johnson? And this is another team that I coached, EK, but I wasn't coach of the year because we didn't have a lot of good players when I was coaching there. But I like this move for Brooklyn. Now you bring back Cam Johnson. You know, obviously, when you look at Mikael Bridges, who he came over in the trade for uh, with uh, from Phoenix, now you have two really bookend forwards that can play multiple positions, two 6'8", 6'9", guys that are going to get better. Their better years are ahead of them. Uh, you know, Mikael Bridges, I think, what, he's played in four or four years, and he's played in every game, ever, hasn't missed a game. So I like this move for the Nets to try to build this team for Jock Vaughn. They'll have to continue to add to this roster. I think the biggest question with the Nets is what are they going to do with Ben Simmons? You know, here's a guy that's not doesn't even look at the basket when he's playing in games and uh, offensively he's been abysmal. So, uh, but this was a solid signing for the Brooklyn Nets, and I really like this this uh, uh, not addition, but I'm, I'm glad that they brought him back to the team. If, if you're the coach and you now look at the Nets roster, right, who's your guy? Who are you building around? And not just the best player, but who's going to be the guy in the locker room that's going to be the, the, the guy that sets the tone? I mean, you got to have a focal point. you got to have a center that everything flows from. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your best guy. You know this. I'm, not tell, I'm telling the other people. Obviously, you know. Who's your guy if you're the Nets? Mikael Bridges, EK. He's the guy. This guy is a champion. Won a championship with Villanova. He had an opportunity to play in the NBA Finals um, and have a significant role when he was a part of the Phoenix Suns and they lost to the Milwaukee Bucks. He showed last year that he can score the basketball, that he has he's very skilled offensively. He's a two-way player. He doesn't take games or practices off. This is the guy that you can build around, and he can be the guy. Now they have to continue to add to this roster – but uh, I'm, I'm buying everything about Mikael Bridges, uh, everything that he brings to this team in terms of his discipline, details. I've spent times in training camps when he was with the Phoenix Suns. I like the way he operates at practice. I love his leadership ability. So he's the guy that they, they can build around. All right, well, he gets one of his running mates back, Cam Johnson, agreeing to a four-year, $108 million deal. He'll go back to the Nets. Nets also trading Joe Harris today for a couple of second-round picks. So they're always making moves. I feel like the Nets are always making moves. They're always trying something. You know, definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. That's not them. They're at least trying stuff. And you see Cam Johnson averaging a career high over 15 a game last season.